Well, welcome to Thrive Groups. We're so glad to have you with us this week. And before we get started, just want to go over a couple of ground rules, things that'll make the group more exciting and more enjoyable. The first is everyone participates, no one dominates. We invite you to share your stories, share your ideas, your thoughts, ask questions, but don't dominate the group. And, and we encourage everyone to get involved with this. Secondly, uh, at the end of group, we, we encourage you to, to, to chat and hang out for a few minutes, but, but let's make sure we keep the end time punctual. That way, uh, everyone can get on with the things that they need to be doing. Well, we're going to start out with our icebreaker question. You can follow along on your notes if you'd like to. Well, what is your favorite outdoor activity? Well, I'm going to go first because mine is probably hiking. I absolutely love hiking. Go out hiking several times a week. Love being in the woods. Love backpacking when I get the opportunity. It's just so enjoyable to get out there, get some exercise, and enjoying God's creation. But how about you? What is your favorite outdoor activity? We're going to take a look at the book of Judges, and we're going to read Judges 11 verses 1 through 8. This is the story of Jephthah. It says here, Judges 11, 1. Now Jephthah of Gilead was a great warrior. He was the son of Gilead, but his mother was a prostitute. Gilead's wife also had several sons, and when these half-brothers grew up, they chased Jephthah off the land. You will not get any of our father's inheritance, they said, for you're the son of a prostitute. So Jephthah fled from his brothers and lived in the land of Tob. Soon he had a band of worthless rebels following him. At about this time, the Ammonites began the war against Israel. And when the Ammonites attacked, the elders of Gilead sent for Jephthah in the land of Tob. The elders said, come and be our commander. Help us fight the Amorites. But Jephthah said to them, aren't you the ones who hated me? And drove me from my father's house. Why do you come to me now when you're in trouble? Because we need you, the elders replied. If you lead us in the battle against the Ammonites, we will make you ruler over all of the people of Gilead. So let's take a few moments and discuss maybe any observations you have, maybe any questions, thoughts that you had about this reading. So let's jump in with a discussion question here. And it's share about a time you experienced forgiveness. One time for me was I was driving down in South Carolina and I was, I don't know, I guess apparently not driving very responsibly. It crossed over the line a little bit. And so a cop pulled me over. I was unaware that they were there and I was nervous. I'm like, oh, great. This is just what I need, an out-of-state ticket. And so we chatted for a little bit went back and forth with a few things, and he extended forgiveness to me. He challenged me, hey, drive a little more carefully in the future. But he extended forgiveness, and that was a good feeling, to not get a ticket, not get a fine, not get even a warning, but to experience forgiveness. So how about you? Share about a time in your life when you've experienced forgiveness. The next question we're going to talk about is to tell about a time when you were rejected. For me, I remember... When I was in seventh grade, there was the popular kid in class, and he was having a big birthday party. He was inviting everyone in the class. I waited and waited, and interestingly enough, I never got an invitation. And I was kind of upset. I was hurt. I was frustrated. So then I offered. I said, ah, well, uh, if you need somebody to make a video of your birthday party, maybe you could invite me, and I'll bring a video camera, and I'll document it for you. Why any kid would need to document their 14th birthday, I have no clue. But he said, yeah, sure, why don't you do that? And then after I pondered it, I said, you know what? I really don't want to have the relationship built like this. So I, so I didn't go to the birthday party after all. But I felt hurt and I felt rejected because I felt like I wasn't wanted there. How about you? Share about a time when you felt rejected in your life. The next question is to share about a time when God used your past for his glory. For me, one of my interests at an early age was, was in t-shirt design, graphic design. I learned how to design things. I learned how to, to, to lay out graphics and make different things like that. It was just for my own fun and enjoyment. But over time, over the years, I've seen how God has used that so that I can design things, design things for the church, design things for friends and family members, and ultimately present a positive image of the gospel to the world around us. 
So that's one way that God used one of the things in my past for his glory. But how about you? How has God used something in your past, maybe good, maybe bad, how has he used that for his glory? Well, finally, before we close up, we want to close with a word of prayer. And this is a great time to come together as a group to pray, to talk to the God of creation, the one who created heaven and earth, the great physician, the healer, the Lord Almighty. And we can come to him and we can ask him and he hears our prayers. So I'd invite you to take a few minutes, maybe go around the room and each maybe take a moment or two to pray. You don't have to say anything fancy. And if you don't want to say something, that's fine too. But we'd encourage you to spend a few moments together as a group praying. Thanks again for joining us this week.